Some damn fine coffee right there. All right, I'm back. You guys missed me? Today I'm gonna to talk about two hot topics, the espresso martini and Mr. Black Coffee Liqueur. This summer, we've been making an extremely ridiculous amount of espresso martinis at the bar. And also, quite a few people have asked me to make the drink here on my channel. And I finally got my hands on the holy grail of coffee liqueurs, Mr. Black, which has been extremely popular all over the cocktail channels on YouTube. I'm sure you've seen it. Mr. Black. 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 Coffee liqueur. But it's been really hard for me to find it around where I live, so about two weeks ago when I was in New York, I picked up a bottle. Anywho, let's get into it. The espresso martini was created in London way back when I was only three years old. The bartender, Dick Bradsell, was at the time one of the hottest bartending gurus of London. Kind of reminds me of myself back in New York. Bradsell is also known for creating the very popular Bramble. The story goes that one night, a future female supermodel walks up to the bar and asks Brad Sell for something to wake her up and to f Some say that this was Kate Moss, but if that were true, Kate Moss would have been around 9 years old. So let's hope it was somebody else. Either way, Brad Sell combined espresso, vodka, coffee liqueur and a little bit of sugar and the espresso martini was born. At first, he called it a vodka espresso, and also at one point it was called the pharmaceutical stimulant. But pretty much just like any other cocktail at the time that was served in a V-shaped martini glass, it eventually became the espresso martini. Okay, so we're gonna need a vodka, and you can use your favorite vodka. Definitely doesn't have to be Tito's. A shot of espresso, and if you don't have an espresso machine at home, I'll leave a couple of links down below so you can buy something really expensive through my Amazon associate channel. That'd be great. Or you could go to your local favorite coffee, coffee shop. Mine would be the Times Bar in Asheville. Phenomenal stuff. And a little bit of simple syrup. And of course, a premium coffee liqueur. And this is what Mr. Black says about their own product. <clears throat> it's made with 100% specialty grade cold brew coffee. Australian wheat vodka. It packs 10 times the amount of coffee. Half the sugar. It's roasted and distilled in Australia. And it contains nothing artificial. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna start with a quarter ounce of my simple syrup. Half an ounce of my coffee liqueur. Three quarter ounce of your fresh espresso. And one and a half ounce of your vodka. I'm gonna get some ice, fill the shaker up, and give this a good hard shake. So this is obviously how I like to make my espresso martini, and from what I understand, this stands pretty true to the original recipe. This is a very straightforward cocktail. It's strong, it's bittersweet, and it's got that rich and nice mouthfeel. And even if you never had an espresso martini, I'm pretty sure you can figure out what this tastes like. This is also one of those cocktails that bartenders seem to tweak a lot, using flavored vodkas, liqueurs, vanilla syrups, etc. And that's all fine. After all, this cocktail is very similar to having a cup of coffee. You know, some people like it with cream and sugar, and some don't. But when you start making this cocktail, I say stay true to the original and then start adding the liqueurs. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next week. Cheers.